Hi, this is Captain Chaudhary. Today I want to speak about healing error. What is healing error? Healing error is an error which comes in because of the heel or the list. When the vessel is inclined on one or the other side, the healing error comes in. We cannot say that the healing error of my ship is 5 degrees or 4 degrees. Because healing error, if you want to describe the healing error, you need to state that the healing error in such and such place, say for example Mumbai, on such and such heading, say for example 0, 03 0 degrees compass, when healed 7 degrees to starboard, okay, is 3 degrees west. So the description of healing error must state what area you are talking about, what angle of heel you are talking about, whether it is on port side or starboard side and what is the compass heading. It is the difference. So healing error is not an error when the vessel goes to say for example 7 degrees port or 8 degrees starboard. Healing error is the difference. So healing error can be defined as an error that comes in because of a heel or the list. So suppose I want to describe the healing error for a ship. I would say that on 040 degrees compass heading while the vessel was healed 7 degrees to port the healing error was 3 degrees east. So healing error can be written as error when healed minus error when upright on a certain heading. It means that suppose a vessel is heading 0, 4, 0 degrees compass and as the vessel is healed to 7 degrees port, the error is, the compass error is 0 degrees and when the vessel is upright, the compass error is 3 degrees west. So what is healing error? Healing error is error when the vessel is healed minus error when she is upright. So it should be 0 minus minus 3 degrees. That is plus 3 degrees or 3 degrees east. Plus in uh, magnetism means east, right? As per our convention. So uh, can we say that at this given place in the heading 40 degrees compass, the healing error is 3 degrees east. Whereas, if you describe the compass error, the compass error was um, nil when the vessel was healed 7 degrees port and the compass error was 3 degrees west when the vessel was upright. So, so we can say that in this place, on the heading 40 degrees compass, the healing error is 3 degrees east as the vessel heals to 7 degrees port. That is a complete description in respect of healing error. So healing error uh, basically should depend on the course, should depend on the amount of heal. Now there is the sign convention when the vessel heals to port, it is considered as minus inclination and as the vessel heals to starboard, the inclination is called positive. So can we say that healing error 2, we are talking about a place upon healing error 1 is equal to cos course 2 upon cos course 1 into I2 upon I1. I2 and I1 are inclination to represent healing error 2 and healing error 1 respectively. Let us do one simple numerical to understand this. So it must be clearly understood that we are not comparing the error when healed. We are not saying error when healed on starboard side divided by error when healed on port side. No, we are comparing the healing error itself and healing error is actually not an error. Healing error is the difference of errors. Suppose a vessel has got a 3 degrees west healing error. When the vessel is healed 7 degrees to starboard on 0, 06 0 degrees compass. Find healing error on 140 degrees compass when healed to 
5 degrees pole. So healing error 2 is uh, required and healing error 1, healing error 1 is uh, minus 3 degrees because 3 degrees west. Cos of course 2 means cos of 140. Cos of course 1 is cos of uh, 60. Inclination 2, inclination 2 when healed 5 degrees port, so port side is minus, so minus 5 and inclination 1, inclination 1 is 7 degrees starboard, so plus 7. So this is how we can find out healing error 2, cos of 140 degrees into this minus and minus gets cancelled, so uh, it is cos 140 degrees into 5 minus 3.3 degrees or 3.3 degrees for west. That is a healing error. A question that is usually asked to a candidate is what happens if you don't correct healing error? Or somebody might ask you the healing error on all my ships, I never touch the healing error bucket. What happens if we don't touch it? So please understand if the ship does not heal, the healing error does not come in. So on a voyage, if the ship does not heal at all, you don't need to correct the healing error, number one. Number two, if you are steering on gyro, your autopilot is good, you are steering on gyro. Like even if the ship is rolling and ship is being steered on a particular gyro course, you would find that the repeater shows the gyro course to be like rock steady. But if you look at the compass, if the healing error is not adjusted, what will happen is you might have uh, some different healing error on one side, some different healing error on the other side. You might find the compass oscillating through about 25 to 30 degrees. But the person who's steering by a magnetic compass in case the gyro fails during rolling and the healing error is not adjusted, the helmsman will go mad because he won't be able to steer the vessel. In such situation, in such situations, the healing error adjustment is very, very important. Another thing is every watch when you take compass error or often otherwise also, you compare the gyro with magnetic compass. But if the ship is rolling, gyro might show a steady heading, but magnetic heading would appear to be changing from one side to other side because of the healing error. So you need to adjust the healing error. In case you want to read the magnetic compass when the ship is listed, in case you want to compare the compasses in rolling situation and definitely in case when you are steering the ship by magnetic compass and the weather is rough. So how do you uh, adjust healing error? Now healing error is basically because of four soft iron rods that is KEGC. All these rods in some or the other way may give rise to healing error. And most important of these rods is K rod. Now K rod can be considered as a pillar vertically below the compass. It's a vertical soft iron, right? So you can imagine a pole is formed vertically below the compass, right? And that is the most important rod to be considered when we are considering the healing error because of the soft iron. Now healing error can also be because of the permanent component of the hard iron that is set in the compass. That is out of PQR, the component R. Now that component R will have red or blue pole below the compass. Now when we are talking about the permanent or induced pole below the compass, what do these poles do? How does this error come into play when the vessel is healed? And where does the error disappear when the vessel is upright? Let us see. Let us say this is... Uh a compass binnacle and let us say there is a pillar vertically below the compass and a blue pole is formed. Now when the vessel is upright, when the vessel is upright, here is the meridian of magnetic needle and here is the meridian of needle UFC. You will find that the meridian of the magnetic needle and meridian of the pole are in one line and if they are in one line, we would say that the disturbing pole is in the meridian and disturbing pole if in the meridian will not cause any deflection. But what happens 
when the vessel heals. When the vessel heals, the situation is like this. And the frame that is holding the binnacle could be like this. And here is the rod or here is the pillar that was vertically below the compass. And we've seen that there was blue pole under the compass. Now, if you compare the meridians, this is the meridian. This is the meridian of the disturbing pole. And here's the meridian of the magnetic needle. You can see that the meridians are different. Meridian of disturbing pole is outside the meridian of magnetic needle. So when this happens, what happens is the pointer gets attracted by the blue color. As I told you before also, the pointer has affinity for the blue color and that's why it gets deflected. So what we say is regardless of the direction in which the vessel is steering, the ship may be steering north or south. What we may in general say that if there is blue under the compass, if there is a blue pole formed under the compass, then the magnetic needle will get deflected to the higher side and not the lower side. The magnetic needle gets deflected on the higher side. So you can't say that the magnetic needle will have a westerly deflection. No. When the vessel is healed and there is blue under the compass, the needle will get deflected to the higher side. So this is healing error. This error will disappear when the vessel is upright, right? And this error will be different on a different heading. This error will be different for different inclination. So this is what is healing error. As I told you, to describe the healing error of a ship, we need to state what is the place, we need to state what is the inclination heading and whether the inclination is to the port side or starboard side. Sometimes you are asked a question, what is this adjustment of the healing error? Why is it required? The adjustment from time to time is necessary because the adjustment cannot be done for all the latitudes and both the hemispheres. The reason for that is the correction cannot be done like for like. When we correct the coefficients, we make sure that the permanent magnet is used for correcting the permanent component and soft iron is used for correcting the induced component. Right? So accordingly, uh, the flinder bar is made up of soft iron. The soft iron spheres are made up of soft iron. But you have permanent magnets in fore and aft and athwart ship correcting PP and PC. Now, in case of healing error, the source is various soft iron rods that is KEGC and mainly the rod K which represents a pillar vertically below the compass. And also the source is R component of the permanent magnetism. That means the source is permanent also and through induced reasons also. But the correction is only by the permanent magnets. There are vertical permanent magnets kept in healing error bucket. So what happens is when you change the latitude. So let's say for example from Europe you are going towards Australia of course through the magnetic equator and let us say there is this induced healing error because of K rod dominating factor. So dominating factor of the healing error is say K rod. Now what happens when you go towards the magnetic equator the blue pole that is formed in this K rod becomes less and less intense. It becomes diluted so much so that the color disappears when you are crossing the magnetic equator. You must lower the bucket, keep lowering it till you reach the equator and maybe after some time after crossing the equator you may have to invert the magnets and as you approach towards the Australia right as you approach towards the Australia you must again pick up the buckets. Because red pole that is formed on K rod will become more and more intense. And when you are coming back from Australia to Europe, you must reverse the process that I explained to you just now. 